we are off to the right hand side. And the island, Bova Island, is named down. Ahead is Caribou Crossing, another mile, yeah. Short form is Cow Cross, it's called. The actual city limits of Car Cross to show you a little bit more around, but for now I'll just kind of take you through these outer parts as the quicker to go up to Caribou Crossing. That big building you're seeing on the right hand side is a very new building. It was actually just completed about two weeks ago is when they had the grand opening for it. That is the Tagish Community Cultural Center. And so there's a lot of different festivals and activities they have going on there. It's a really big meeting place for the native tribes and people that are here in the Yukon Territory. And so it's really exciting that they have been enough funding and support to have this new building dedicated to this tribe of people as a way to also direct some of the council from their leaders that they have. And here it is. So we are looking at the Car Cross Desert. It's the Car Cross Desert, believe it or not. Caribou Crossing Desert. That's why we see sand all over. That is the world's smallest desert. It's only about one square mile. And the reason why we have this desert here is because, again, back to the glaciers that were in this area, there was a huge glacial lake filled with all of this fine silt and sediments. After that lake drained out, it left all of these fine sediments at the bottom of it. And because of the climate of the area and the way that the trees and mountains are situated, it kept the sands in this area, creating that small car cross desert that we see today. Alrighty folks, and we are now coming up on our stop of Caribou Crossing. It's just here around the corner. It looks like we are making perfect timing for that. Yeah, so there's a sign you see for Husky Puppies. They have puppies here in Caribou Crossing if you would like to see them. They also have a dog cart ride. So if you go into the visitor center, you can sign up for a dog cart ride where you can be pulled on a sled by these dogs. It does cost money to sign up for that, but you just have to go into the visitor center. Tell them your driver's name is Leah. So Leah is your driver with bus number 131. And if you are interested in riding one of those sled dog races, just tell them my bus number and name. <laughs> and they'll sign you up for a time that doesn't conflict with our departure. So we won't leave without you as long as you tell them my name. But here in Caribou Crossing, this is our lunch stop. I'll be pointing out to you where to go for that lunch stop. They do also have a museum where you have... You can see Everyone here having a barbecue. You're now stopping for a barbecue. Emerald color to the lake. So it's a beautiful day to stop by. 
Well, that is as far north as we'll take in the Yukon Territory. We are now headed back down south and we'll be going to Car Cross. We passed by the outskirts of it on our way up to Caribou Cross. I can notice also as we're coming up here, we're about to pass over some railroad track. As I mentioned before, the train does stop up through here, only on certain times during the day though. And all of those shops you're seeing right across from us on the left, those are going to be where you're going to find most of the little souvenir shops. It's a good place where you can get little treats and snacks, ice cream, things like that. We all know buildings on the left hand side. Operating hotel in the Yukon Territory. Although, I think ironically enough, it is closed for renovations right now. As we make our days, yeah. Post very office. careful about the times that you choose to mail things. Car crosses down. On the street or in more of the residential area here. And if you look at some of these houses, particularly the ones on the left hand side, You'll notice that they have an extra little room or building attached to the outside of them. The reason for that again goes back to the extremely cold and freezing temperatures they have here in the winter time. Those extra little rooms act as a sort of mud room. So they open the door to that little room, close it behind them, and open the door to the main house, which allows for the minimal amount of cold air to be let into the house. Wanted it to have it such a size that he could light the fire from his bed. And if you look on the left hand side, you'll Lake. see his cabin that he achieved his dream. Lake Bennett. And then just past it, this is Lake Bennett. Absolutely beautiful today. This is the headwaters of the Yukon River. So that's where all of those stampeders would have set sail to start their journey up north in search of gold. Start in through eighth grade in it. So if you want to continue your schooling past that, you have to go to Whitehorse, which is about another hour and a half away from where we are, and go to a boarding school up there. So their kids will be gone Monday through Friday, and then we'll come back on the weekends to be with their parents. And this is a very extremely small community. One great thing about Car Cross is because it is so small, they are very tightly knit here. They have a lot of different activities that they do to keep together. This brown building on the right hand side is the Car Cross Community Club. Hand side. This brown building is the Car Cross Public Library. It looks a little bit slow today. I think all three books might be checked out. Yeah, we have minor, minor checkups. If you have minor in injuries or things like that that happen. <laughs> Thank you. 